Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. I'm Marissa Ray. Thank you so much for joining us and clicking on this video. If you are new, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you never miss an upload. So today's video is going to be all about how to treat colored hair and keep it healthy. Just a quick disclaimer. All of these tips that I'm about to mention are things that have worked for me. Everything that works for me may not work for you. I do believe that everything I'm going to mention is going to be super helpful to y'all. So definitely try out for yourselves and then let me know down in the comments what's up and if they worked for you. If y'all like my hair, go ahead and click the little tag up here because I did a flexi rod set and a bantu knot set in the front. So just a quick little backstory about me. This will be very short. The first time I ever dyed my hair was like in high school. I was a sophomore in high school. It was straight at the time. I'll probably try to insert some pictures in here. Um, and I just had little highlights, you know, trying to be fast, trying to be cute. Then I went all the way blonde and bleached my hair again while it was curly, still in high school. After that, I dyed my hair pink, I've dyed my hair purple, I've dyed my hair burgundy. My hair actually looked pretty trash after all of that because I did not know how to take care of my natural hair well. Not Definitely not as well as I do now. Now, as you can see, my hair has grown out so much. I said all that to say that I do have experience with color and the last two years is when I've actually officially learned how to take care of it and make sure my color treated hair is still nice and healthy. Now, let's just get right into this video. The number one tip that I have for color treated hair if you want to keep it healthy is moisture number one one thousand percent you have to keep your colored hair especially natural hair if you're a natural girl you have kinky or coily hair you definitely want to keep your hair moisturized that means deep conditioning frequently you want to deep condition like once a week or every two weeks a couple times a month three to four times a month just depends on you know your rota your rotation your cycle use products that are extremely moisturizing and hydrating especially if you've used like if you've lifted your color like if you put color on top of color okay but you have lifted your natural color or you bleached your hair honey Definitely want to make sure you moisturize your hair with the products you use, add water to your natural hair frequently, just keep it moisturized with oils, anything. Moisture is number one. The second tip that I would have is to stay away from certain ingredients. So most of us may know if you do have like colored hair, then you extremely definitely for sure 1000% want to stay away from sulfates or parabenes. Those are the two main ones that I know for sure you do not want to use in your hair products because they are going to strip the color and just strip your hair overall. Your hair will not be as hydrated and your color will probably end up fading. So definitely watch out for those ingredients if you have color treated hair. Number three, I would say to watch how you yourself are managing your hair. So your color is going to, no matter what color, dye, anything you use, it's a chemical, period, point blank. So maintain your hair well. By that I mean tying your hair down at night, wearing a scarf, a bonnet, whatever you want to wear. Um, make sure your ends are secure and moisturized for sure. So that's number one and number three combined, honey but definitely make sure you maintain your hair very well keep it detangled if you can don't do too much manipulation to it because your ends are going to be very sensitive um i mean unless you moisturize it like i've already said then you know you just really want to be careful with how you're treating your hair how you take care of it when it is color treated the fourth tip that i would say is to avoid protective styles and i know that's probably contrary to popular belief but when you have dyed your hair especially like me personally I would say the first like month or two months you need to be deep conditioning so often like every week after you first dye your hair do not get no protective style because if you do a protective style just depending on what it is you're not gonna be able to add moisture to your hair like if you do a wig you can't add oils and stuff to your hair I mean except for the first time but depending on how long you're gonna wear that wig you just can't do anything to your hair every day which is actually okay because you know the less stuff we do to our hair the more it can grow but when you color treated your hair you want to be able to moisturize it so avoid 
certain protective styles, especially braids. I would not get protective styles. I wouldn't get braids or twists with like, you know, cankaline hair, extensions, whatever. I would not get that because there's no way that you're going to be able to um, moisturize your hair well, fully well while it's color treated so definitely stay away from the protective styles at least for a month or so number five what i would say is to avoid touch-ups so i know some people like to dye their hair and like they don't want their roots to show their natural color at all to show me personally i mean obviously as you can see i've let my roots grown out a bunch in fact i should have probably mentioned this in the beginning but i'll insert some pictures of what my hair has looked like just the past two years but you do definitely want to avoid putting more dye on top of it especially back to back to back like maybe a semi-permanent but if you're doing like permanent colors you don't want to be constantly putting permanent dyes on your hair that's just a no-go like that's a no for me whenever you are trying to maintain it and keep it healthy avoid that urge to keep coloring it is this fifth or fourth tip y'all i mean fifth or sixth i feel like it's the sixth tip fifth tip girl i don't know whichever tip this next one is <laughs> but the next tip i would say is to avoid shampoo now um don't take me literally on that like you do you want to still shampoo your hair just maybe cut down to like every two weeks or every three weeks and again like i mentioned you want to make sure it doesn't have any sulfates or parabens in it so for sure if you're using shampoos and conditioners that are um that don't have those ingredients then you may be safer to use it but still i would recommend doing like a co-wash and try to like just not put much um clarifying stuff or just shampoo period at least that first week that you've dyed your hair but after that you can use shampoo just you probably just don't have to use it often just so that you don't strip your color away and depending on the color too like reds um pinks i don't know i i've had pink hair before a long time ago if i do find a picture i will insert it it was like the end of high school i definitely had purple hair pink and purple it kind of just faded but i used to kind of be a daredevil when it came to color but now i'm like you know just got my blind definitely though i'm um, just trying to stay away from the shampoo and after that you can just be shampooing normally regularly but of course watch for the ingredient another tip that I would have to say is to trim your hair wisely so when you have dyed hair your hair is color treated in any way and that them chemicals on your hair more than likely your ends will begin to get damaged quicker than if you would have just had your natural color that's because naturally your color is going to be drier like it's going to make your hair drier a little bit so sometimes you may experience more shedding or you may experience more split ends so definitely keep an eye on on that trim your ends when necessary and then you know that should keep your hair growing because to be quite honest y'all my hair has grown a whole bunch since i dyed it that may be partially due to me taking these biotin gummies i've been taking like a 10,000 milligram biotin gummy i will probably do a separate video on that i just want to like document the progress a little bit more make sure it's really effective before i present to you which one and fully give my like thumbs up big time on it I want to like test it out a little bit more first but I do I kind of think it has been helping but yes so if you trim your ends and you watch out for the damage you can definitely keep your color treated hair nice and healthy my last tip would have to be to seal your hair with an oil all the time so for me personally there's not much that I do differently outside of when I had black hair or my natural color which is like up here but I do seal the ends of my hair all the time with any style that I do I use Jamaican black castor oil some people don't really like it because they say it smells bad to me I'm, I'm used to it so it don't even smell on my hair the other products smell more than the Jamaican black castor oil does on my hair so I think that's all the tips that I have for y'all today they're very easy to follow very simple literally does not require a whole bunch of money and a whole bunch of time except maybe when you deep condition but you know just do all those things for your color treated hair and you will be just fine your hair will be flourishing your hair will be lovely and beautiful so i hope you guys really did enjoy this video if you did give me a big old thumbs up comment down below subscribe to the channel so with all that being said be humble have faith be courageous and i'll talk to you later bye